So today I'll be doing my final LEGO Space Police set review on set number 5974, The Galactic Enforcer. And this is my last Space Police review like I have stated before until I receive another new set. But all the sets I've reviewed so far for you guys, uh, it's stuff I got for Christmas. So maybe Christmas this year or next year um, or for my birthday, whatever I get. It's, I'll see if I can buy more Space Police sets as I love doing these reviews. I love reviewing the, the sets of uh, my favorite, one of my favorite LEGO system lines. So, um, this set includes 788 pieces, it comes with 6 minifigures, or 7 if you include the little robot, which I'll show later. And back in 2009, I believe it cost $80 or $100, I'm not 100% sure. Um, if, you do guys, if you guys do know, let me know in the comments, but I believe it was around $80, I think, I think I'm right about that. So that's pretty much all for the set information, and now let's get right into the minifigures. So here are the minifigures that are included in this set. We technically have five, if you don't want to count the statue, but I just threw it in here like, why not? So we have three Space Police officers. Pretty much all of them are the same, but they have different face printings. Uh, to show you this guy, he has the generic Space Police printing. Pretty cool. Always liked it. With a little walkie-talkie in the back. This guy comes with a flick fire initial. Pretty cool. You can flick that off, but I'm not going to, so probably will lose it. Uh, this guy has shades. Does not have a double-sided head or face. Um, we have the black helmet slash visor, very iconic for the Space Police lineup. Uh, this guy just has the smiley face. And the actual, I think, the only female Space Police officer we ever gotten throughout the whole lineup of Space Police uh, that comes in this set. So she's pretty cool. She has a generic smiley face, and the other face is just her being concerned or worried. So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the Space Police officers. Nothing really new with them, but it's cool we get three of them. Next we have, we're going on with the Black Hole game members. We have Cranks. This guy's not exclusive, but he's pretty cool. I always liked the uh, head he has with the tentacle kind of vibe going on. He has a little mustache that's working as his tentacles, I believe, or like a little goatee going on with this two little teeth you can see there and the black eyes looking off to the side. We always like that. And also he's got this little biker gang jacket with a couple of the black hole gang skulls. I like to call them that because they're used a lot in different sets. And he also got the back, got the Black Hole Gang skull once again with a kind of metallic kind of jacket that he has going off with the printing, which I like. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Cranks. And next we have Slizer, who is probably, I, I don't know, I like all the Black Hole Gang members, but this guy I really like. Very unique out of all the others other than Frenzy, because I don't know, he just has like kind of mysterious look to him, because he just really covers up, cover up his face with his big spiky helmet. Which I think only other thing that came in was Lego World Racers from one of the racers on the uh, antagonist team. But this guy has like a very kind of a uh, spiky torso. It's uh, all around him is just a uh, sharp. And it's I guess like he's kind of like body armor. I'm not sure, but it's pretty cool. He has his arms kind of exposed with the skin, kind of giving me like a goblin esque kind of look for the minifigure. But he's pretty cool. And then well, his helmet. He has very messed up teeth, yellow eyes, and some. Uh, different color spots on his forehead. So yeah, no double-sided head apparent, uh, sadly, but I wish we did get one kind of like him, maybe with his mouth open, but yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Slicer. And last but not least, we have the statue. This is always pretty cool, I always like this. We have the classic Lego Spaceman in uh, like kind of a statue form with some cracks on it. You can see on the torso there, no uh, head printing at all. We have the little jack pack. He's got some print in the back with some more cracks and some uh, statue kind of detailing for him. And then I've always tried to figure this out. I don't, I, I don't know if this is a reference, but uh, in Anos Tragneria ad Kalo, I don't know how. The, I don't know. And I just I don't know if it's a name of a person or it's just different planets. I don't know if it's something with the Space Police little lore, which they didn't really have, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's just it's a cool statue, nonetheless. So that's pretty much it for all of the minifigures. Now let's take a look at the small vehicles that are included. Starting off, we have the little space police moon buggy. This is pretty cool. I like the big wheels that are on it, but it's a really small vehicle. We have the little jetpack exhaust thing for the space police officers that most of them have in the other sets, but none of them are actually included. But we have one for every single space police officer in this set. So I can just put one of these guys, and I like the build too because it's kind of like. Reminds me of the Skull Twin Vehicle from the Squidman's Pit Stop set where it kind of the build is supposed to look like it's facing upwards, but actually when you build it finally, it's leaned back and I like it a lot. 
So this mean, excuse me, this mainly like a moon buggy, which I really like. No kind of play features, but I got blue and red light, uh, lights. Got a little turning wheel here, steering wheel. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a small basic vehicle for the space police to transport other than the Galactic Enforcer. So yeah, now it's like a look at Crank's vehicle. Last but not least for the small vehicles, we have Crank's little, I guess, I don't know, it doesn't really have a name. But it's missing a sticker on the top here, but everything else is here. But this has to be my favorite of all the small vehicles that are made for the Black Hole game members throughout the whole Space Police lineup. And there's something about this I really like. I like the, the red, the black. I also like the stickers on the wings. These wings are used quite a lot throughout the whole Space Police lineup. Um, we have this big missile here, which actually is missing a sticker at the top. So that's the only sticker I think I'm missing from this set. But it's a, it was a cool sticker. I wish I had it on there. But with a big wolf. Big flame piece coming out of the back, which I like. We got a Chang, which I will show you what that is in a second, but we're gonna put Cranks in the seat here. We got a little handlebar for him to control the little, all the control the whole vehicle. And this is a problem too. This comes up all the time because this set is old, but it comes up all the time. But we have, oh yeah, so we have a little antenna there. But the whole feature with this chain, well it's not really a feature, but it's something you can do, is that you can put, yeah, I guess you can put the stud on the bottom there and drag around the statue, which is supposed to be interpreted, I believe, with Crank stealing it, but also he's gonna rescue Slicer here. But it's really cool, I like how it is, kind of like, oh, yeah, it's something, you know, he's bringing on the way there, but yeah, and obviously when you press the back of this, it shoots, so yeah, we don't get an extra one to set. I believe they used to do that back then. I'm probably wrong, but. No, oh, sometimes it doesn't want to go in because of the curved pieces we have right there. But yeah, that's Craig's vehicle. Now let's take a look at the Galactic Enforcer. All right, so this is it. The Galactic Enforcer. It, this ship is massive. I mean, it's pretty big, yeah. It's kind of small when I saw it in person, but I think back then for me it was huge. But it is still a big set. It's like, it's I can barely fit in my frame for the picture here, and it's... It's insane. So there's a lot to cover, and I, this is going to take a while, but um, the biggest feature, which I'm going to go over right now for this set, is that it can split into four vehicles. We have one that can come off right here with this little slide-out piece here. Well, actually, it's a little build right there that easily makes it slide out. So I'll take a look at that shortly, but I'll show you the other two parts that can come off. It's kind of like, I, I guess they're kind of like little battle pods or like little escape pods. More like battle pods, like kind of like defenses, I guess, like little things for other uh, Space Police officers can ride around with big exa exhaust uh, parts in the back. And then we have this, the big centerpiece that can fly around on its own. But something you can do with the front section of the Galactic Enforcer is that you can put the two back ends on the back to kind of make a little small junior galactic enforcer like to say um so i'm going to put everything back but i just want to show that it's the main feature of the whole set but i'm going to take a look at every part of the vehicle actually i'll yeah i'll just leave leave it like this but first we're going to take a look at the front of the vehicle so i already showed you guys the feature on the back here just to go over first with the Galact the front of the galactic enforcer but i always like this build it's really cool i like the big cockpit piece that we have in the front here with the police sticker here we have some we have two of uh little guns that we can use in the front here like lasers that have a tube that go right under into the actual compartment of the space police uh the, the front of it um we have some stickers right here a lot of blue and red lights that goes out there the whole vehicle oh we got some antenna pieces on the side here i guess these are supposed to act as little uh, lasers too on the side here we have police and if we take this off inside we have a little some room to put some of the space police officers so i'll just take our guy from the little moon buggy again and put him here again uh have like arrange the sticks and have them control the ship. But you can actually put another minifigure behind here, but I'm just gonna put one. And then on the top here, we have this little helper robot, uh, what the purpose of this guy's supposed to be. But he's a really nice little build dude, but his legs are really loose, which are really old, I believe. But he's cool, I like him a lot. I wish we got like one with the uh, blue head and this one we had the red one, but it's still cool. He just has a little spawn on the ship, which I like. So we can cover this back up. And I love this, this piece in blue, it looks amazing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then we have some 
little exhaust in the back. It's all over this vehicle, the exhaust of it's insane. Um, but I, I kind of, I don't really mind. I heard people make a couple points about the axle sticking out, but it's, it goes with the feature of the set, so I don't really have a problem with it. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the front. And now let's take a look at the center of the Galactic Enforcer. So here we have the central section of the Galactic Enforcer. This is my favorite part of the whole entire vehicle, and this is also the, the lot to cover here. So let's get right into it. First, we have the four transport pods where you put a Black Hole Gang member. This is a reoccurring thing throughout the whole entire Space Police lineup. Uh, we have four of them. This is the most we get out of any other Space Police set. Uh, there's two on each side, and each are pulled on by a pin and axle connection. So we're going to take this one off because we have a slicer on one of them. And we have a sticker here. It says danger, may contain alien atmosphere and uh, prison transport pod. On the top here, we have the fuel generator it says in danger. And we'll put this back on. And this is where Crank's vehicle comes into place. Oh, there we go. Uh, was, as I mentioned earlier, where he just uses the big missile to hit the fuel generator to let Slicer free. So that's pretty cool. I'll put that back on. And then we have a little cockpit on the front here because after every single, uh, all the parts of the Galactic Force are split up, they have to have a kind of uh, pilot to control every part. So we have this little cover piece, which I love the color of this dark blue of the screen piece. And then inside we have a space police officer with the control panel, a little seat there. So that's pretty cool. We got some little lasers here. And then this part is where the front of the ship slides back into place, which I'll show at the end after we take a look at the central part and the other two. Um, well, I guess to look on the wings real quick. On the side here, big wing piece, we have the name, uh, the set number of the set is 5974. We have the blue and red lights on each side. We also have a little wing here. I guess it's got a little detail here with red and blue lights. We also have these big uh, lasers, I guess, to protect the ship if any kind of black hole gang member, for say, cranks is trying to free slicer, they can shoot him down so he doesn't able to free slicer. So that's pretty cool. They, uh, they're going with a ball joint kind of piece. So that's pretty cool. It goes up and down or side to side, but not 306 degrees, sadly. We have these two wing uh, kind of thing pieces going on the top here. You can face them up. I prefer to leave them down, but they're pretty cool. I guess they're kind of like little small engines. I don't think they are low exhaust, not engines, but yeah, I guess they're just wing pieces. I guess they keep the ship on control. And it's the same thing over here on the right side. And then I guess we'll take a look in the inside of the central section. It says open here. We just lift this up. And inside we have a whole bunch of little knickknacks going on. We have a little bunch of accessories for the space police officers. We have a metal detector, two walkie-talkies, two of the jetpacks, which I said earlier that every space police uh, officer really does have in their sets. And also for this set, we have three little lasers. Like uh, they're all clip on there. We have one of the red, uh, green stud, blue, and red. So basically it goes with the color scheme of the vehicles too. That's pretty cool. And then also we have a little another control panel of that with a little spin seat. And also we have a little another seat right there with green and red light. I don't know what that is. And also you see the moon buggy, which we'll put this back down. And I'll show you guys the back. We have a little, I guess a little, not gate. I, yeah, I guess kind of a little gate for the buggy to stay in the vehicle and also to come out kind of it's kind of hard with the wheels but the there you go and there you go so you can slide it right out if i wanted to per se if anyone wants to drop in with the out of the glass enforcer it comes out like that so that's pretty cool or you can just have like one of the space police officers like walk in there and then just put this back up so i like that a lot and then we have the moon buggy once again put that off to the side and i believe that's pretty much it for the central section um yeah, I think that's it. I'll show, like I said, with the front of the vehicle, I'll show them all together, uh, the whole entire Galactic Force really together in a second or a couple minutes here. But let's take a look at the last part of the Galactic Forcer. So here we have these two little pod things. I mentioned them earlier when I took the Galactic Forcer apart with the vehicles being split up. But uh, basically you have one Space Police Officer pilot, then we have two little uh, stick, kind of like control handle there. Um, it's basically the same bell, but it's just using opposite sides. Uh, we have a sticker for each side. It says place foot here. I guess it's where the space police officer gets on the little pod. And then we have this big exhaust part in the back. These pieces come off easily, by the way. So uh, be careful when you kind of mess around the whole uh, part of this or the vehicle. Um, we have some little lasers on the side here. I like how the I like the little build here because it's actually part of the top of the airplane for Lego City, which I like. And they just put the two together on the side. And I like the wing pieces that are used here. 
But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the little pods here. Now let's put the Galactic Enforcer back together. So here are the four parts of the Galactic Enforcer. So let's put them back together. First, we put the front back. If it wants to go back, there we go. Slide it back on. And then we got the little pods. Go back on each end of the wings. And voila. There we go. The entire Galactic Enforcer itself. And it's huge scale that it's in. So now let's take a look. I mean, actually, let's talk about my thoughts and let's close out this review. So that's all for this review. I'm finally glad to get around to reviewing this set and actually owning it. I'm so thankful to own this set because I've always wanted it for a long time. I didn't get it back then, but I did now. And I'm really happy to own it. It's a great set. It's probably one of my favorite LEGO sets of all time, just in general with Bionicle and System included. Um, it's just an amazing set. I've always loved the spaceship. It's probably my favorite LEGO spaceship too. It's just, it's huge. It's really big. It's like, it's kind of small, but it's really big at the same time. It's just the build is amazing. There's so much you can do with this ship, and it's just it's a blast. I think if if you can find the set for a decent price, I don't know how much the set costs. I I was not the one that purchased this. I just put it on my Christmas list, and I was given by my family members. But it's probably expensive if you want to get in this sort of condition. I didn't have any kind of cracked pieces or anything else. But I highly re recommend this set if you have the chance of getting it. So that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you guys for watching. If I were to give this set a rating, it would be 10 out of 10 because I love Space Police and this set is just phenomenal. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, give a thumbs down. If you have any suggestions for videos or other stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. And also for the same for asking for any kind of questions. Till then, I'm Toa Koto and I'll see you guys next time. See you around.